So today's video is going to be more of an update style of video. Uh, I like to do these maybe once or twice a year, kind of let everyone know what it is we're working on at Cam Instructor, uh, what it is that we've got done and finished and ready for you to check out now. Uh, so with that, let's get through this little intro and get into uh, what we're roll. actually doing over here. <laughs> Some of the things we've got going on over here at Cam Instructor, uh, it is that time of year when Mastercam likes to put out their new software and they have in fact released Mastercam 2021. So with that, we've also got some of our Mastercam 2021 content up on the website now. Uh, so you can go and check out the new documents, new videos, all that good stuff over there. Uh, those of you who are using HLE and are waiting for the new HLE version to come out so you can go and look at this new content, good news, Mastercam HLE 2021 is out and it's up on the website now for download. So go and download that and check out all the new fancy features. Another thing I want to point out on the website is we've got our t-shirts up on the site now. You can go and check those out. Uh, have a look at this expensive model that we paid to demo these shirts for us. You know, no expense spared here at Cam Instructor. Now the price does include shipping anywhere in the Canada or the USA. So don't worry where you live, uh, shipping is, is covered. It's all in the price. And there will be different shirts available at different times. There'll be a revolving cycle of different shirts, colors, styles, and whatnot. Now these are good shirts. They're not the, uh, the low budget uh, cheapos. These are actually really good shirts and uh, you definitely won't be disappointed in the quality of the shirt that you get. So here's a bit of a teaser for some of the files we're working on in Mastercam for some upcoming uh, lessons and blog videos. Uh, we've been dabbling with this Crew Dragon module. Uh, you can all think back to that big space flight a little while back. Uh, that was super cool. So we thought maybe machining a part like this up would be uh, also a little bit uh, worthwhile and fun. Uh, we're also going to revisit the Helix we've touched on before. And we want to look at when machining parts like that, how the underlying geometry affects the resulting tool motion. Uh, so lots on that to come. Also, if you think back a little while ago, we did a video on how to create the Tesla Cybertruck in Mashcam, gave a big demo on drawing it and everything. And we took some inspiration from one of our previous videos, which was the uh, 3D printing parts from Mastercam. Uh, we modified this part a little bit and 3D printed it. And with that 3D print, we were able to mount a rocket in the back side of it. Rock and roll. <laughs> and the eventual goal is we're going to put... Uh, uh, so that video was a CO2 canister. We're eventually going to put a, uh, an actual rocket in the back of that thing and see how fast we can actually make it go. Another project we've been working on is uh, dabbling with the Pocket NC. Uh, so those who don't know, Pocket NC is a full five axis, uh, we'll call it miniaturized machine. Uh, it's definitely a hobby style machine. It's not uh, something you're going to be cutting titanium on, uh, or at least not cutting it efficiently. Uh, but we've been playing around with this a little bit, seeing what we can do, seeing what we can machine. Um, this thing is capable of full five axis motion. Uh, so not just positioning and cutting, it can do full simultaneous cuts. Uh, so we're going to see where we can go with, with this machine, what kind of parts we can make, and if we can turn it into uh, some sort of lesson. Uh, these things might be a really good option for schools trying to teach five axis curriculum. Now a machine like this, their base model is about six grand. Uh, you compare that to what a Haas UMC 750 is gonna cost you at about 200K plus. Uh, you can start to see an advantage of a machine like this and getting students hands-on experience with uh, five axis cutting. So that's where we're at as far as what we've got done this year, uh, what we're working on still, ideas that we have for new content. Uh, if there is an idea that you have on content that you would like to see, uh, please let me know in the comment below. Besides that, I think that wraps up our, our little update. 